Wow, that was a good night's sleep. Oh, it's so much more relaxing when you don't have to deal with the rats. Let's get to it. So that was our first night in our new house here. Uh, it was amazing, way better than the trailer experience. So I want to go around my farm fields and see what they need. If, uh, because this is all new land to me, so that's the plan right now. I wish I had a little uh, four-wheeler or ATV. Just kidding, I picked this up last night. So, I got a new Honda here. Uh, I don't even know what the model of this is. What is this? This is a Pioneer 1000. So, a two-seater or side-by-side, -side, whatever you want to call it. Uh, of course, I had to get it in uh, hunter colors because I'm a hunter. And why not have a side-by-side -side you can use for dual purpose? So, basically, I'm going to take this around the farmyard. Just go around and explore a little bit here that's why I like Hondas they're not so loud and obnoxious you can have a conversation with somebody while you're sitting on the seat right here that is the kind of side-by-side -side I appreciate so we got our grain bin set up I did get my trailers and my semis parked in over there uh, what else? Uh, I know you. I've kind of walked around this already. So we don't have any cattle yet. So it's kind of too early. I don't have no feed ready for them. Uh, once I get some feed and some corn in my bins and uh, ready and everything, then we'll start uh, getting some feed in. Uh, we've got the horse, one of the horse barns here. Ooh. There we go. Thought that was going to be more bumpy than what it was. Here's the back of the bins. So when I made the bins, I kind of made them park the auger right here. And I can kind of just move it around very easily and kind of have it close to the middle here. I didn't have too much room right here. I probably should have planned that better, but it's enough where I, uh, these, if I had these bins over here, they it would get out over here in the mud. That's not what I was wanting. I was wanting nice, easy uh, uh, convenience when I'm driving the semi here, so I can drive it through the one gate over here, around and out the other gate, and not have much uh, problems uh, with uh, equipment in the way or buildings. It's running over here, so I got the two great big. Uh, I guess complexes. I really like that. I, I've been missing a big building on my farm for a while. I do need to get some uh, tools put in them. I don't have tools even. Let's go look at our uh, horses here. Guess I need to oil that fence right there. It's kind of stuck there. Uh, there's another barn here. And we got our uh, huge horse pasture so this is going to be primarily our money maker right here or well, at least I hope so uh, we're going to have some race horses I'll drive in here quickly so we got the great big uh, so we can bed them at night here because horses they expensive race horses you don't want them getting sick And this thing is a little uh, zippy, kind of running in all over the place here. Need to uh, adjust the throttle, I guess, a little bit on it. So this is a big barn. This is where we can basically uh, uh, bed them down if we need to. So that is our uh, pasture land there drive out here before they uh, see the fence is open now one of the first things is I'm gonna have to get something to feed the horses so right now I'm doing it all by hand which uh, isn't easy let's just say so 
want to get something that I could feed them more easily. Alright, so the primary mission we need to do is to look at our soil. This is one of the fields we have, so this right here, I'm, I plan on disking this up and this field we're driving through right here and I'm going to plant alfalfa here. Alfalfa for the horses and alfalfa for the cattle. That is the plan, so need to probably deep rip this uh, sod up. Uh, now this is another question need to look down at this soil so it seems like this is kind of compacted so I think another plan we we will go around that might have been where they loaded semis or something go over here quickly there's a uh, Grant's place right there that house is huge I guess see if he's around quickly. He might be a kind of mad we're driving through his field here. Uh, I don't think he's around. Oh, he has a dog. So we've been a, a lookout for a good, a good dog to have on the farm. Haven't uh, found one yet, but we are brand new. Oh, is Grant going red? Grant has a red tractor on his farm. Got a little quad track. Got a log in the middle of the field too. Alright, before we get uh, in trouble for trespassing, I mean, we didn't tell Grant we're going to come over here. We better get out of his yard. We might get kind of mad at that. But he's going to be our competition, that's for sure. So this field right here is ours. This is kind of big field. Not sure what that is. Looks like, uh, oh, possibly a little grain set up here. So, better get out of the neighbor's yard here before they get mad. But, we own all the land around it, so basically, they were the farmers that uh, ended up retiring, so they have an easier life right now. Uh, they started out in that old trailer, and then they were just renting it, and then they moved and built their new house over there. Which is okay, and now we build this giant, uh, complex over here. Uh, so, oh, I guess I was gonna look at the soil here, kinda in the middle here, too. Yep, this is going to mean uh, either deep ripped or something like that. So, so that is the plan. Uh, I know we will send some soil samples that we got here. I guarantee this soil is definitely going to need some fertilizer. So, I think the primary thing because we need a lot of equipment. I mean, we don't have anything like nothing right now so I think the primary goal is we're going to we're going to look for two deep rippers and uh, I would like to get my own uh, sprayer or fertilizer applicator something like that I, I don't know if I'm going to get some type of spreader yet but some type of fertilizer applicator that is the goal anyways. So we will go in here and kind of look and see what we got for options. I'm gonna have to tell the contractor. We got a little wee we got some grass over here. That is unacceptable. Grass grown through concrete? That's gotta be some problems there. So we're gonna get on into our little office here and uh, I guess uh, do some little planning if we can. See what we can find. Alright, so First off, uh, looks like the co-op is selling one of their old sprayers. Uh, looks kind of dirty and used, most likely. Uh, I guess I could call Jake and see if we can get a good deal on that. 
uh, fertilizer uh, sprayer. So now I need to look for a few chisels. All right. So it looks like a company, I guess some type of repair dealership is a Great Plains uh, dealer. He has a few deep rippers here. Not for sure the model number. Okay, them are 5319, so I don't, I guess that they're 19 foot deep rippers. Uh, I mean, they're fairly small, but we don't have a high horsepower tractor. So that's another thing we should probably consider. High horsepower tractor. An anniversary Steiger tractor for sale. Now that is the old style before Case bought out uh, Steiger tractors. That's the old uh, green paint style. I'm, I don't know if I like that style or not, but I think we're going to go look at that quickly. All right, so that case dealer also has a new idea spreader. So that's another option we can have. And they also have a case uh, tiger deep ripper here. Uh, we don't have much money, so we're going to have to go talk to the banker here quickly. Try to get a little bit of money borrowed. We spent... Uh, heck of a lot of money on this farm place so this is all together about a two million dollar farm yard so we basically spent all of our Iowa money so we did have a big loan in Iowa to pay off but we spent all of our Iowa money now uh, now we gotta make it up somehow all right, so we're gonna take this back. So I'm gl so glad I got this because with these big farmyards, you really need something to scoot you around. I know I was given a clutch hard time for his big farmyards and I do the exact same as he did. I guess that's just a common thing in Nebraska. You have to have a big farmyard. So we will get this parked in the garage and grab our uh, ram. The only thing bad about this long driveway is I kind of have to back up all the way down the street. So the first item of business, I think I'm going to go look at the, their Great Plains. Deep rippers or chisels, I guess. I don't know exactly what they call them, but... I guess we will pull in here and get a coffee quick on Philip 66. I don't think it, it's not what like Casey's was, but they do have a sit down area for you to eat at. It's always awkward being a stranger in a new town and everyone staring at you, especially in a small town like this. So I haven't got that comfort zone yet, but uh, it was a good cup of coffee at least. All right, so let's find where the place is at. Where, oh, I think across the street there is a co-op, and I think that's down there. All right, so we will run down here quickly. Yeah, a little repair shop here. Oh, here we go. Yep. So these are the two chisels. Kind of smaller than what they, I thought they were going to be. But we don't have the biggest equipment. So I'm really uh, going with uh, these because they got the ripple uh, disc in front. So I don't have an issue with uh, these clogging up. So sometimes you have that issue. So these have points you can change on them. So they also got spring release uh, uh, shanks on them. Now, I'm really interested with these is they have these uh, twines down there that really chop up the residue and keep it nice and fine. I think it's important to have that, especially with big corn. I don't think these will be too bad. So these are great planes. These are made by L.R. Monty. Go see if we can seal the deal on the... Oh, I almost forgot. We gotta go to the bank first, dummy. Man, I waste so much time because I do dumb stuff. Alright, so let's go to the bank. 
get our money so we can actually spend it. Uh, that's kind of cool. They got a train yard right here. Alright, no one's coming. So it looks like this is uh, where the small town strip mall is. Got a bakery, an eye doctor. Uh, we got a hardware store. Where's the bank? Alright, I got down some side street. Um, I don't know where the bank is. I have no idea. Where's this stinking bank in this small town? You'd think it's so a small town you can find it easy. Alright, so I found the bank. We borrowed almost one million dollars. It's down this uh, road. It's kind of odd. It's down the street like that. I went in there and they said go upstairs to go see uh, Bob. Let's go talk to Bob. Alright, talk to Bob and basically for 100,000 for both of them uh, discs, so 50,000 a piece. Uh, I think we got a fairly good deal, I don't know for sure, but uh, it's good enough for me. They're brand new. Uh, I think we are just going to put the stops in, okay, make sure they're in. They're in, and I'm just going to pull it with my uh, RAM here. Alright, use that, uh, my rear view mirror right there. Try to get these lined up. So it actually hooks up there, so we will pull these home care hazards on. We're going to be safe. I don't want to get T-boned again, like in Iowa. There's the traffic coming around. I'm surprised they're not early birds here in Nebraska. I know, uh, I thought that was a normal thing. When you live in Nebraska, you gotta get up early. So we're pulling our last, uh, chisel, if you want to call it that, through town here. Ooh. Thought I was stopping in the middle of the highway there. Gotta pay attention here. I got a rude driver behind me. Wants to get to work, or me to get out of his way, at least. Okay, okay, I'm going. We're gonna get this back to the farmyard. Alright, backing these up right here. Alright, so turn the blinkers off. Get this unhooked there. Alright, now that's unhooked. Alright, so let's go see if we can get purchase a sprayer now. Uh, I tried to call Jake, he wasn't around, so don't know if Jake is going to be there or not. Uh, let's see, I'll, I'll try to ping him again, see if he answers. Just curious uh, if he can get us a better deal or not. It's kind of weird, Jake was uh, one of the co-op managers for the last place. Now he's a co-op manager at this place, I mean... I don't know if the uh, co-op moved him, or Jake just moved himself, I don't, I don't know how that worked out. Kind of nifty. Tri-County Fertilizer Sales. That's a big fertilizer spreader there. Ooh, look at that pretty thing. So that is not what we're looking for, but that thing is huge. That's what she said. Alright, where, where is it at? Oh, here we go. This is it, I think. Let's go take a look. -see. I do like how it has air shocks all around it. That's nice. Uh, 4730 John Deere. So it does have front weights to keep the front down. So are these powered? I believe them are powered front wheel sis. That's nice. It does have a fertilizer mixing box right there. That's nice. Now, all the valves are uh, easy, so at a uh, regular height, so you don't have to get on a ladder. So you can find this at LR Modding, another good sprayer. So it looks like all the hoses are good. So we'll go talk to them. Shut off our truck here. 
See if anybody's around here. All right, so it's our sprayer now. So 140,000, so we get get them talked down a little bit. So uh, they ended up getting a hold of Jake, and Jake uh, confirmed. So I kind of got a, a pretty good deal. I would say the friendly neighbor deal, maybe. Yeah, pretty nifty there. Yeah, uh-oh, better jump farther ahead there. Don't want to bend my boom up when I just purchase it. So there, that boom goes out. Not for sure how, what the coverage is on this one. Okay, so that kind of goes out like that there. That's how you lower it. All right, so we will uh, fold that back up. There we go. Not a bad sprayer. Looks like we have a... What is this? This is probably a 6000 series uh, monitor there. That'd be nice. So basically, uh, this is just like a new sprayer. So... They've definitely put some hours on this. I think there are 4,000 hours on this sprayer. So co-op, they use their sprayers pretty common. So it's got a lot of hours on it, but not too bad for, oh yeah. And they're nice sprayers there. Maybe we can move up one day. Uh, right now we're gonna start uh, small. We got a lot of money borrowed and everything, but to me, I think it's smart to have your own sprayer. Uh, uh, contracting for the co-op could get really expensive, like no joke expensive. So you're going to have to watch that. Man, look at that picture right there. You got, uh, oh, yep, yeah. don't want to hit the highline poles because then you get zapped be a bad day right there I think if you're already in the tractor though maybe that's going out of the tractor I guess yeah going into the tractor is kind of too late for that not bad I got to wash it up here quickly but I do like when you're in here everything folds up nicely see all folds up it's kind of nice all right, so now I need to go back and get my ram. Wife isn't available. I'm gonna have to run this, so it's gonna be a little uh, walk, that's for sure. Get this, oh man. Whew. Man, I need to get in shape. That was a long walk. All right, let's get in this truck here quickly. Looks like I left my door open. That was a Dumbo move. So it's a little bit of a drive to the case dealership. It's way down here, so we're not too close to it, but we're not too far away either. Oh, wow, I see it already. That thing stands out like a sore thumb. I don't know about that color. Let's see what we got here. All right, so... Looks like we got quite a bit of bobcats here. We got a uh, Steiger 600 here. Some old case planners. Some great planes planners. Mm, some big old uh, little case uh, disc spine there. Man, them are some big old road graders, or uh, what do they call these? Uh, I don't know what they're exactly called, but they definitely scrape up the dirt. Got another 600 that back over here. Got a little uh, corn stalk flail flailer here. These aren't really necessary. That's why you kind of probably see this in the background, because... Uh, with all the, the corn head, a lot of the corn heads do this now, so I remember many days driving this through the field, so that was always a fun thing to operate as a kid because then things drive fast. Some heads, looks like an old John Deere disc there. 
another case disc. Oh, here we go. There's a uh, Tiger uh, Deep Ripper. So I'm kind of glad I went with the Great Plains just be for now. Don't know if I have the, the horsepower to pull this. That would be my biggest concern. That's good. What the heck is RCC? Oh, this is Squad's little uh, motorsport. What is this doing here? I always think these uh, Case uh, IH sprayers look uh, kind of weird. The 4440. Uh, just, I think I'm wasn't too enthused about buying this. I don't know. I think these things just look so weird the way they they're shaped and everything. Uh, the rear engine type design of them. Got a whole bunch of new case uh, 40 foot discs are these. So a whole bunch of them. Yeah, looks like uh, this is a disc place. It's weird that they have this many uh, Magnums. They're all 380s. All weird tire designs, too. Oh, uh, here we got some duels, finally. Kind of weird they have them wide tires there. Oh, here we go. Now, look at that thing. Don't know for sure if I'm crazy about that color yet or not, but it's an anniversary color and it's pro a fairly good price. So they're wanting 250000 for this. So I think it's a great price. Look, we even got a uh, toll cable right there. A little hitch there too. I wonder what a Massey Ferguson's doing at a case place. But, uh, got... So it does have a PTO and it does have a three point on the back. So I don't know, I'm a little bit uh, interested in it. Somebody left their lunchbox in there. Oh man, this is a new type design cab. Premium cab, I think. Hmm. I think uh, 250,000 for this is a steal. Let's see if this thing starts up. Yeah, there we go monitor and everything works all right so let's go see what we can do here and where are our offices at up here nope not up there mm, office office is anybody around here let's see what we can do all right so i was wrong the sticker price for this uh steiger is actually 350. we ended up purchasing the steiger here in the new leader for just over 460 we purchased it for so 460,000 so I think I'll go home and get me the trailer here and uh, drive these two or pull these two things home so we'll get in our ram and uh, yeah go get our old truck there started All right, got our load star. I'm hoping this trailer will be adequate. We will see. That uh, old Steiger on there will definitely uh, give this uh, load star everything it has. All right, make sure we got some chains on there. All right, we're good. All right, start this old girl up. All right, let the air build up on it. Gonna pick us up up. Brand new tractor. Always worry about this load star. It sure seems like it's about ready to blow up. We're running about 3,000 RPMs with it. It's giving it everything it's got. We are going about 51 mile an hour, and that's all it got. But man, it sounds like it's gonna blow up. All right, pull up over here and get this loaded here quickly. Can't believe I wanted some red on the farm and I ended up getting uh, puke green. That's not puke green. I don't know what you'd call this. Maybe puke green? I don't know. But I, I, I just like the old Steiger look, so we're gonna go with it. Hook that up. Alright. That's why we got a PTO. See, I don't know. 
I mean, all we're doing is transporting. We really don't need to hook up the PTO, but I did it anyways. Alright, let's see. Hopefully this isn't too wide. Drive up on this trailer here. There we go. Driving up. Hoping this isn't too long. That's there we go. Wow. You talk about a big load on there. That is a giant load for this uh, trailer in this old poor load star. I mean, look how far the tires went down in that old truck here. So I thought it was gonna the engine was gonna blow up when it was empty. I don't know what it'll do now. But everything looks good on there, so we'll start headed off. Turn every flasher we possibly can on. So we're pulling down there. Pulling fairly good, I guess. Alright, so I got that uh, Steiger unloaded here. Oh man. Accidentally hit the horn there. Oh, man. Gotta stop bumping that. Keep bumping it up with my hand. Oh. Alright. Let's get this thing finally backed up. There we go. Alright. Turn off the flashers. Oh, man. Keep bumping that. Alright. Alright. Turn that off. Let's get this Steiger. So, got the Steiger. I got my equipment. We are ready to at least start into the field. We are going to have to buy a planter. Don't know if we'll have to buy another tractor anytime here in the near future, but we got a sprayer. We got uh, the 8230. Can probably pull a planter too, so that's my plan with it. And of course, we got the 8400R here with the beautiful silver bullet or the gleaner. We are basically almost ready. We're gonna have to buy some more equipment. We a lot of equipment, tools. We got a lot of stuff to still purchase. But come back and see us here in Nebraska. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share, and subscribe.